welcome back to Beyond the Sprue. My name is Jim. This is the channel where you get your scale model updates on a very regular basis and we deal with main manufacturers and some that are a little bit beyond the sprue. So let's have a look at this week's question which is where is the QE2 permanently docked today? Is it in Southampton? Is it B in Dubai? C in New York? D in Sydney? Or was it actually scrapped so it's nowhere answers at the end so kicking off with mini arts announcement uh, of a few weeks ago actually the german three-ton cargo truck we did feature it um they've put together some completed models for us to look at and it comes with pe parts and clear parts we'll see and there are six options for the schemes that you can um paint the truck in so Looking to have some lovely detail as normal, and that's from Mini Art in 135 scale. And moving on to Gecko Models announcement of a um, British Mark 1 uh, 4x4 utility vehicle um, with the Korean War schemes. They've put together some models as well for us to look at. Comes with the photo etch parts and clear parts it's in 135th scale and also has a trailer and some lovely detail work on the engine and the accessories that go into the trailer as well. So all in all, a very attractive looking kit. And Masterbox have released a buggy mongoose, which is being used in the Russian-Ukrainian conflict at the moment. And there's two versions, this is the basic version, and then they use an, an evacuation version as well, which comes with a stretcher. Uh, that's from Master Box, and I believe it's out soon. It's the Buggy Mongoose. Mini Art have been busy, they're producing a 135 scale SDKFZ 234 stroke 3, and this is coming with a 2 centimeter Shiba Lafetta 38. That's a bit of a tongue twister. And being mini arts, you can guarantee that it's going to be historically accurate. Uh, it's going to be highly detailed. It will come with photo etch parts and there'll be a lot of uh, sprues and parts to put together. And in addition, you can have two scheme options and that's going to be in one and 35th scale. And attack kits are releasing a Tatra 57A ambulance. And as a bonus, it's coming with some resin tires, and it's going to be a 1 and 72 scale. It comes with a couple of options with the top up or the top down, and um, two scheme options. Planet models are released in a 172 M29C Weasel Amphibious version. This is a 3D printed kit. Uh, comes with PE parts and some decals, uh, but it is a 3D printed kit. And IBG models have announced a 1 in 72 scale Scammel tank transporter with a TRCU 30 trailer and a Crusader Mark 1 or 2, uh, in other words, a 2 in 1, and or to go on the trailer. And that's in one seven second scale. We don't know when it's going to be released. And next up, we have Dragon Models announcement of a new release, VM4A3. This kit is coming with some detail. It really is a lot of detail they've used. Uh, a slide mold for each link on the track. Uh, the uh, duck bill that goes on the end of the tracks is 3D printed. Uh, aluminium barrels. Uh, machine guns the mg is uh, hollow barrel and hatches can be open and closed uh, there's an incredible amount of detail do stop and have a look at the uh, video and uh, zoom in on the page to see what detail there is and rifle models have been busy they are working on a new m109 a7 155 millimeter self-propelled howitzer and this is going to come not only with uh, workable track links, but it also comes with 3D parts and photo etch uh, as standard. And you can have the hatches open and closed. The barrel can be uh, moved up and down. And 
all in all, a lot of detail, looks to be an attractive kit, uh, a metal barrel, did I say that? Uh, 3D printed parts on it, absolutely lovely. Uh, that's from Rifle Models, it's going to be a 1 and 35th scale. And St George's Models have announced a limited edition and ammunition wagon, or St uh, Chamond. And this is a limited edition, as I said, and the pre-orders are open if you'd like one. And they have a Facebook page uh, where you can find them. And Ravel are releasing a 1 in 200 size kit of the Netherlands Coast Guard Emergency Turning Vessel, the Waker. And that is coming next year. I should say that it's actually a, a rebox of a 2007 tall in. And Ravel are reboxing their 2002 tall in of the QE2. Uh, that's a 1 in 1200 size kit. And I'm sure we'd make a lovely model. And Ravel also re releasing their 2011 tall in of the Swedish Regal ship Vasa. And that's a 1 in 150 scale kit. And Triumph models are releasing a brand new tooling of the World War I Battle Cruiser DHMS line. And that's going to be in 1 in 700 scale. And the Bodie are releasing a 135 scale figure of a Waffen SS Stormen World War II. And a company called Vice 75. Offering the new figure of a 75mm scale uh, Belgian guide from World War I and 1914 and has an optional head so you can inter interchange the heads, excuse me. And Mini Soldiers have released a new set of US paratroopers from World War II that's in a 1 and 35th scale as well. And ICM are releasing a flak crew. Uh, and that's in one and 35th scale, uh, all new moulds. Uh, I did feature one last week, I believe it was a different one, uh, that looks quite good to me. And Mini are also releasing uh, workers with a concrete mixer in one and 35th scale. Um, that's like a bus mazzardo to me. Uh, and Sogar Miniatures are offering some 3D figures uh, of a hand to hand combat. Uh, these can come in at 135th or 116 scale. And the scene is depicted between the Red Army and the Wehrmacht in summer 1941 to 42. And Arden Miniatures have released uh, several new figures uh, representing German soldiers and Soviet infantrymen uh, wounded and surrendering. Uh, Soviet soldiers. Uh, these are in 1 and 35th scale and you can have a look at their uh, website and, uh, and you can see lots of figures in there. And my Ronios models are releasing quite a few new figures. Uh, German tank crew World War II and they're also releasing some really unusual ones such as uh, World War II uh, German interrogations and uh, the German leader standing on a plinth. They're also releasing some um, cobblestone roads uh, bases for dioramas. So uh, quite a eclectic mix there but mostly World War II and uh, some controversial images I would imagine. And Arma Hobby are releasing next year a new tool of a 172 scale Curtis H75A Hawk and they've put out a little image at first to wet our Tifa. And Luke Graf have released a tantalizing image. They've got a 3D printed engine there, uh, but they're releasing a huge uh, heavy bomber, the Caproni CA3. Uh, it's going to be in 1 and 30 second scale and uh, quite a large uh, airplane. And Armour Hobby are releasing or taking orders for the pre-orders for their P-39 Aero Cobra and it's going to be the recon version. 
uh, it comes with 3D printed parts, which we included. It's a one in four eight scale, and three marking options. And if you pre-order, then you're likely to get uh, more for your money than you would if you were to do it on the shelves. And ICMO are releasing a rather tempting uh, Luftwaffe bomber airfield set in one at 48 scale, and it features a Heinkel uh, HE111 H3 aircraft, seven Luftwaffe ground personnel figures, a dog airfield equipment, aviation bombs, all to scale and representing uh, life on the field of a Luftwaffe airfield. And Sword Models have released details of two kits coming up and they've included some pictures of sprues and it comes with a decal sheet and a mask set. Uh, two editions, it's 148 scale, Stinson L5 and you've got the L5A and the L5B which is the Sentinel Mark 1 and Sentinel Mark 2 and um, looks to be rather attractive. So just prior to Telford last week as it is at the time of recording, uh, Airfix announced a new tooling of the Westland Lysander and they're going to do it in a Mark 1 or a Mark 3 version. It's going to be in 1 and 48 scale, which is the scale you need for this aircraft. And the Mark 1 version is uh, number 16 squadron of the Royal Air Force colours, and the Mark 3 is uh, uh, 309 Polish fighter. Um, squadron so it's coming with a pilot figure i don't think there's any spy figures with briefcases which is a disappointment in my view because uh, it would create a wonderful diorama if it could be like that uh, but it does come with a very good detailed pilot figure and um, it's going to be a very big seller this without a doubt because the tooling scene the uh, scale model scene has been without this aircraft for a long time now and there's been a call for it and the second hand kits uh, prior to this announcement were going for an absolute fortune and FX also announced that they have added new parts to last year's tooling of the Westland Sea King and they're making an HC4 version it's a 1 in 48 scale uh, I have made the kit from last year it is fantastic uh, it goes together like a dream. It produces a most fantastic model. I would highly recommend it if you haven't got it, buy it. Models Vit have released their one in 70 second scale Mirage G801. Uh, its first release comes with 198 pieces, decal sheets, masks and photo etched sheets. And uh, they will be releasing further kits next year, but the first batch is out now. And IBG models have released some renderings of their 1 in 70 second scale uh, FW190D14 as a prototype. It's going to be limited edition. Uh, it looks to have some amazing detail if that is how it ends up looking. And DBMK, a UK firm, so that's dbmk.co.uk have released this one in 30 second scar de Havilland Hornet and well they're hoping to release it soon anyway and um, it'll be coming in about uh, the middle of next year so uh, anyway if you check out their website dbmk.co.uk smaller firm uh, one in 30 second scar uh, de Havilland Hornet and uh, I'm sure they will update you with any of your inquiries and IBG models have released some renderings of the Romanian Barbarossa 1941, the IAR 80 early, and the IAR 88. In other words, you're getting a two in one. Uh, it's 172 scale, and that's some renderings of the model. Uh, not sure when it's going to come out, but it shouldn't be long. And RS models are releasing a limited edition. Uh, edition of the airspeed envoy the Gabriel in 172nd scale and this particular edition was involved in a race in 1936 from Portsmouth to Johannesburg unfortunately they didn't get to the end and they crashed in Rhodesia Nedouard have announced that 
the Royal Class P40E 148 pre-sale is available right now. Pre-sale is open if you're into the Royal Class and you're looking for the P40E in the 148 scale. Uh, they normally sell out and uh, pre-sales are open right now. And Zukimura bringing out a 1 in 30 second scale FW190A4 uh, in their Super Wing series. Uh, I believe it's a uh, different version of their um, previous new tooling and the detail on these kits are incredible um, the booklets are a pleasure to read they look complex but actually when you get into them uh, they're very logically laid out and you follow this process step by step you build a most beautiful kit uh, and there's lots and lots of quality throughout go together like a dream and produces the most amazing plane in the end uh, well worth the trouble if you're looking for a, a larger kit uh, these are very good and this kit is coming with three new schemes and um, yeah as I say you, you won't go wrong with this one Atari models are pleased to announce that their one in 30 second scale Spitfire Mark 5B early is now available for pre-order. Uh, this kit will be released in the second quarter of 2025. Uh, your pre-order deposit payment in full is 100% refundable uh, up to the actual shipping date. Uh, price is US $109, 141 high quality injection molded plastic parts with 38 all new tooled parts, including the wings with 20mm cannon armament and optional magazine fairings, engine cowling, cockpit sidewalls, fuselage spine and reinforced towel strut and lots of lots of other details. Guys, we're winding up now towards the end. Can I ask you the normal big favour please? Could you hit the like and uh, if you haven't subscribed then please consider it because um, YouTube uh, will then show you these videos in your feed and if you don't subscribe then there's a chance that as time goes on YouTube will stop showing you these videos and then you might forget you know all about it and we wouldn't want that so please consider subscribing and we're going to get on to the question now so where is the QE2 permanently docked today? Well, if you said it was scrapped, you would be wrong because actually it's sitting there in Dubai. So if you said Dubai, you're correct. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Take care. Bye for now.